I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team, because we get in baddies over here. All right, today's video, another question from one of you guys. I need to give you this advice because I get a lot of similar, you know what I'm saying, questions and things like that. And I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty positive I've touched on this before, but we gonna reiterate it. We gonna get into your, you know what I'm saying, subconscious. So that it just becomes, can't talk, so that it just becomes second nature. And you can just, when it happens, you just go to straight to it. You're like, ah, I already know Missy talked about this. You know what I'm saying? I already know what to do. I already know how to move. I'm about to get baddies. Because that's all I want. And you should probably want more in life than getting baddies. Because if you only want to get baddies, then you're probably not going to get as many as you could. You're going to get a few baddies and a sprinkle of baddies. But if you focus on your purpose and everything else in life, guess what? The baddies are going to follow. You know what I'm saying? Focus on you and the women will too. So, hey, let's get into the question. Yo, I've been talking to this girl and I feel like she's feeling me. But then sometimes I feel like she's being dry. Look, bro. I think I'm going to start like... Just breaking it down throughout the, instead of reading the whole thing, you know, like, look, anyways, she's feeling dry, okay? Sometimes she's feeling you, sometimes she's feeling dry. Women are wishy-washy. We've been over this, okay? They're very, very emotional people, you know? That's just how they are. That's just how they built. There's no maneuvering around it, okay? You can try to be like, oh, what's wrong? Oh, is it because I did this? Oh, can I do this for you? Oh, what happened at work? Oh, how's your family? Oh, was it because I didn't pay for the last meal? Like, you don't know what it is. It could be none of those things, right? And women are still going to be in their moods. You know they got like a whole bunch of like fluctuating hormones and estrogen and whatever they got going on, right? They could be ovulating, which means that it's going up and down. So the emotion, you know what I mean? She could be pregnant. Who knows? Maybe you knocked her up, man. Maybe you let loose. You shouldn't have. You know, you should have just wrapped it up or you should have pulled out. But pull out game out every week. So now she's going through all these stages of emotions and she's feeling you. She's super affectionate one day. And then the next day, she don't even want to talk to you. She want nothing to do with you. But don't take it personal. I always tell you this. Don't take it personal because it's not personal. It might be, but it's probably not. I don't make a deal about it or anything, but she's left me on scene a while back, but she recommended me a series in real life. So I snapped her and asked her about it. And we talked about a week and then she left me on scene again. What should I do? So yeah, but basically she's just real back and forth. Okay. She could tell that you're predictable. She could tell what your next move is going to be. Your next move is going to be whatever direction she tells you to go. Hey, Meet me here at this time. Where are you going at that time? You're gonna go meet her. You know what I'm saying? She snaps you, you snap back. The reason women take breaks, the reason women fall back, is because it's too much. They, they, they're hoping, look, she probably likes you. I know she does like you, she likes you. She's talking to you here and there, like, she likes you. Or she wants to like you more than you're allowing her to like you. When you're always up under her, you're always, you know, available, you're always just there. It doesn't give her anything to look forward to. It doesn't give her excitement, it doesn't give her, you know what I'm saying, like any sort of mystery about you. She already knows you inside and out because you are an open book. What do you do with open books? You read them. Oh, okay. So... When I do this, he's gonna do that, and when he does that, um, he expects me to do this, but um, when she knows that you expect her to do something, guess what, she gonna do the opposite. So if you guys are comfortable and going back and forth, you know, she knows, you know, she gonna go back again, and, and guess what, that's boring. Women like excitement, they wanna be, you know what I mean, shaking up. Not like physically, but like, you know what I'm saying, their emotions just shaking up. They want to be guessing. They want to be on their tiptoes. Cut her off. Stop talking to her. She hits you up. Don't respond. Could you go 24 hours? Could you go 24 hours without responding? Could you go 48? First 48. Okay. <laughs> no, not the t-shirt. But no, for real. Could you go two days? For 24 hours, it's like, all right. I mean, for me, that's like, I ain't nothing, right? But for you, it might be like, ah! 
She gonna be over here thinking all these things and wondering and thinking I'm doing this and probably just gonna end up cutting me off and never talking to me again in her life. If a woman stops talking to you because you didn't respond within 24 hours, 24 hours, that's one day, one day. That's not the one for you, bro. That's not the one, that's not okay. Anything could be happening within 24 hours for you not to be able to respond. You know what I'm saying? You have a life. You probably busy, you probably focused on doing something. Let's say you had a project, you had to knock it out, you had to focus, you had to cut off all distraction. Some of them get upset if you don't respond within a few hours. 24 hours, you could have had a family emergency, you had to go fly somewhere and something, you could have lost your phone, you know, anything could have happened for you to not respond. And if that's an issue, which it might be, I'm not saying completely just be like, ah, screw you, I'm never talking to you again. Just be like, hey, I didn't want to be by my phone. I had to focus on something, or I'm going through something right now. I couldn't talk, but what's up? Calmly, you know? But her being, when she watching, that's all it is. You're too predictable, you're too upfront with how you feel. You're probably spilling it all in the messages or the snaps or FaceTiming. Like, you're just, you're doing too much. You gotta be more mysterious. You gotta fall back a lot. Not a little, a lot. Because the amount that you think that you need to fall back isn't enough. So you gotta multiply that by two. And stop being afraid of the consequences. Because there's no consequences. If you're an alpha male, guess what? You create the consequences. You're in control. You feel me? Everything is on your schedule. You're the one that she should be like, why is he falling back? And why is he acting dry and stuff? And I'm doing this and doing Make her question herself. If you're not making a woman question herself, you are not doing it the right way. She got you over here, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong? Why is she acting like that? She could have been going through something, you know what I'm saying? Just because she fell back. But either way, man, you can't, you can't fall victim to the cycle of her doing that and then you coming back. Because I'm telling you, it sounds like it's a cycle. That's what it is. You talk to her for a week, two weeks, then she cuts you off. But then somehow you gotta start talking up again. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything's cool. You can't allow it to just be cool. If you felt offended, if you felt disrespected because she stopped talking to you out of nowhere, you can't just easily come back. She knows she could do that. She knows she could drop you and just come back anytime. You're just gonna be okay with it. It's cool, it never happened because you are putting her on a pedestal. No, you gotta respect yourself. You gotta have self-worth, all right? Anyways, that is it for today's video. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning With Women ebook. Also, back to regular price is Magnetic Cologne, so get that before it's gone. I love you guys. I will see you next time. Until then, focus on you, and the women will too. Some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection